The speaker said today's groundbreaking ceremony was a testament to the years of dedication and hard work of the men and women of the 157th Air Refueling Wing. Standing in front of the aging KC-135 tanker that's being replaced, Governor Hassan led the groundbreaking for the modifications to two hangars at the Pease Air National Guard base. They will be used for the Air Force's new tanker, the KC-46A. The competition for that new tanker was fierce. It's incredible uh, when you think about you beat out 82 other bases to be the first guard unit in the country. To get the KC-46A. The fact that Pease was chosen, the governor said, was because of those who serve at the base. It's your skill, your hard work, and your devotion to our nation's defense that are bringing the KC-46A to New Hampshire. The two hangars will have to be expanded as the new tanker is some 30 feet longer than the old KC-135. The construction expected to take about 18 to 24 months to complete and is scheduled to start next week. Senator Shaheen also thanked the men and women of the 157th for their efforts in keeping the country safe and said there's another benefit to the project. As we can see by the hard hats here and and um, all of the construction effort that's going to go on, it's going to bring jobs and um, contribute to the economy of the seacoast. The construction project is scheduled to be completed in February of 2017, nearly a year before the tankers arrive. At Pease, I'm Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.